That someday I'll tell you without lying I was born to quit smoking I was born to quit dying On that day Not doing heroin Will be easy as pissing On that day I'll stop talking so much shit About the government Cause urine speaks louder than words On a politician Or on a prison warden Urine speaks louder than words
What's up? I got sort of a K-pop thing going on right now, don't I? Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's on boys, girls, and NB friends. Twitch wants to kill gay kids. Uh, at least the Twitch mod staff wants uh, LGBTQ youth to kill themselves. That's what they want. Because I checked the VOD, I checked the fucking files, I checked the fucking record. The only video they had a problem with was the one in which I defended the LGBTQ plus youth of Florida against the don't say gay bill that we all know would have caused increased rates of suicide and self-harm, increased rates of abuse at home. That is the only fucking content that they took out of my fucking account. The only fucking content they took from my account was fucking that. That was the that was the issue. That is what got me term that's what got me suspended on this fucking platform was defending the LGBTQ plus youth of Florida and of this nation and the Twitch mods fucking came to the fucking rallying defense of the, oh, by the way, fellow fucking leftists that fucking false reported me. How do you know it's fucking fellow leftists, Kai? Because we keep records, bitch. My mod, my, um, my streamer bot, which runs on my computer, by the way, keeps track of every single fucking person that walks in the goddamn door and we knew exactly who was there that night and guess what we may or may not have a team of people behind the scenes that keep track of some of you authoritarian fuckheads behind the scenes that like to fuck with shit and we may or may not have profiled a few accounts so we know what str st associated streamers and their viewers were fucking around that night So, welcome back, everyone. We'll see if this stream lasts. <clears throat> everybody, everybody who is subbing on Twitch, okay, th thank you. Thank you for the prime subs, but for the love of God, put it over coffee. Put it over coffee. There is a subscribe there is a subscribe command. It will come up via coffee. It will pop up on the screen. It will give more money. Twitch doesn't get a cut. Amazon doesn't get a cut. I, 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 I get the fucking prime subs. I understand that. That's free money. Don't worry about the prime subs. That's totally free money. But if you are spending money on this platform, one, don't. And two, do it via coffee, please. <coughs> now, for those of you who wanted names, no, homie, don't play that. Homie, don't play that. Just know that there is a team of people behind the scenes that have a list of names. Yeah, we got fucking names and we're keeping them to ourselves just in case. Fucking lifetime spent in IT. and I, There's other fucking people too, by the way. There's other fucking people too, by the way, in my community who are not schlubs behind the computer and can do some goddamn detective work in a heartbeat. So please and thank you. If you're going to fuck with me in the future, just know that when you walk through the fucking door of this channel, your username is logged and your activity is logged. Okay? Just know that in, in advance. So... Now that we got that fucking cleared up, let's talk about how Twitch is anti-LGBTQ+. Because this isn't the first fucking time the Twitch mod staff has gone to bat for homophobes and transphobes, is it? No, it isn't. Hmm, fascinating that we have... <clears throat> Swede, people, do not sub on Twitch! For the love of God, stop subbing on Twitch. <laughs> there is a subscribe command. 
Go over to coffee if you want it. You can do monthly subscriptions. You can do single donations. You can do all that shit. We got to gut. Hey, thank you, Ancom Psycom. Fucking, I see that pop up. Um, fucking. So this is a pattern with Twitch. This is a pattern with Twitch and the mod staff. Isn't it? Because this isn't the first time that we've had to deal with the mod staff of Twitch showing their transphobic and homophobic and generally anti-LGBTQ, uh, uh, anti-LGBTQ uh, plus uh, um, taking their mask off, isn't it? We've seen their true colors before. We've had history of this. And guess what? The only fucking thing that got me pulled from the air is when I pointed out that the GOP and the conservatives in the United States wanted to do harm to the LGBTQ plus youth of Florida and the greater United States. And guess what? Then a bunch of fucking fellow supposed leftists, by the way, horseshoe theory, for those of you who can fill in the blanks here, horseshoe theory, fellow fucking leftists took the opportunity to ninja edit and falsely report my fucking stream that night and then the Twitch mod staff, who are notorious transphobic, homophobic pieces of shit, decided to use that opportunity to shut down discourse on the platform further and further abuse the LGBTQ plus community. So everyone knows, and so everyone knows, that's how it be. That's how it fucking be. <clears throat> so, Kai, got anything to talk about? <laughs> uh, don't ever, ever give a single fucking dime to this shithole of a fucking platform. Do not subscribe. Do not give them money. I understand prime subs are free money. Thank you. Thank you. Out of the kindness of my heart and for the greater community and for where that money ends up. Thank you. But if you are spending your real money, I please desperately request that you set up a coffee subscription or you set up a coffee donation. That way, one, Amazon isn't taking literally 50% right off the fucking top. And two, we're not further enriching Jeff Bezos. And three, we're not paying the homophobic and transphobic Twitch mod staff salaries. I get it, non-binary. I get it. So, uh, if you just did that recently, non-binary, like if you had done that in the past, non-binary, that subscription got canceled. Um, but if you've just done it recently since the account was re-enabled, then I understand. You may want to, you may want actually want to cancel it. Just cancel it and go do the coffee thing. Um, so yeah, I'm fucking, I'm fucking sick of it. I'm fucking, what's up caboose? I am sick of fucking Twitch. I am fucking sick of big tech censoring the my, uh, marginalized minority communities of this, uh, of the world. I'm fucking sick of the Twitch mod staff sh taking their fucking racist, homophobic, transphobic masks off and showing themselves for the Pepe stroking piece of shit loving motherfuckers that they are. I'm fucking sick of the conservatives trying to kill gay kids. I'm fucking sick of the tankies fucking uh, uh, absolutely trying to kill gay people. By the way, we just had another one of those conversations this morning. By the way, if you're not familiar, tankies do believe that the, you can be cured, that your homosexuality, that your tra uh, your transgenderism, that your, ver your various queerness, and all the other things associated with, let's call it alternative lifestyles, can be fixed. And as a symptom of neoliberalism and Western degeneracy, we just had that conversation again on the server today. So we got to see that 
fucking mask off tanky bullshit once more. So everybody in the anarchist community and the greater anarchist milieu is aware the communists are not your friend. The communists are not your friend. They have killed more anarchists than any fucking capitalist has ever killed. The communists hate anarchists. They see us as useful fools and they put a bullet in the back of our fucking head as soon as we turn around on them. They hate the queer community. They hate the anarchists. They hate a whole bunch of shit and they're violent. They will kill you. And recently, too, by the way, the communists in the Philippines were blowing motherfuckers up with landmines only a few years back. Okay? You cannot trust these people. You cannot trust these people. Do not ever trust these people, especially as an anarchist, especially as a queer anarchist. They mean you harm. So, Twitch, tankies, fellow leftists, by the way, uh, Love to see who was the actual friends in the community. Um, those that were there for me in like the time of need and um, those uh, those who were there for uh, me in my time of need when I was wall uh, wallowing in fucking pity and sickness because of those of you who don't know, I've been sick for like a week and a half going on two weeks. I'm probably going to burn my voice out just doing this fucking rant. But either way, for those of you that were there, for those of you that backed me up, for those of you who got on Twitter and got into your community and said some shit and did some shit, Bless you for whatever that's worth. For everybody else, because I, I, again, we taking names up in this bitch now. We taking names up in this bitch. We keeping a list. We're checking it twice. Okay? For those of you who got my back, for those that retweeted, for those of you who did the thing and did the thing and did the thing and were there and there and there, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. For everybody else, thank you for showing me your true colors. I'll, I'll notate that in the future. Oh. Oh. So. Where are we? Where are we? Well, where we are is... <laughs> I just saw some shit. Um, okay. There we go. Where we are. Here's where we are. We're going to start changing the format of the show a little bit. We're going to tweak a few things. We're going to add some segments. Um, uh, public, I really, 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 really wish you would just put up with the ads. Please and thank you, public. Please don't ever, don't sub on, sub on coffee and just put up with the ads. Or, I'm sorry. I, I just, that's, I, I don't ever want any money going through Twitch ever again. Um uh, yes, no, uh, I've already, uh, not Mario, I, I posted vit, literal video, uh, either way. Um, so we are, um, we're going to be doing more segments. We're going to do be doing more readings. We'll be building up the YouTube channel to a certain extent. We may actually get to the point where, um, uh, um, I renege on the, uh, I, I cancel the affiliate contract. <clears throat> Because here is here is here is the metric I have set for the community. If we can get the subs back where they were, count wise, amounts of subs on Twitch, if we can get those on coffee, I'm canceling the affiliate status on Twitch. And we are uh, uh, simul streaming on YouTube and Twitch because YouTube actually is far less censored than Twitch. It's, it's mind blowing, but okay. So it's miserable streaming on, on YouTube for a few reasons, but you know what? It's actually freeing. It's really freeing as a Twitch streamer, as somebody who started streaming, at least video streaming on Twitch, it is insanely freeing to stream on YouTube. They don't give a shit on in a way that is just, ah, it's, it's, it's marvelous. It's marvelous. And also the absolutely, absolutely lack of bullshit woke skull leftist that you have to put up with is amazing as well, by the way. Um, because again, I'm going to keep hammering this point. Um, it was leftists that got me suspended, not right wingers. It was leftists. Okay, the amount of leftist infighting that is occurring on Twitch right now as we speak, by the way, because you think I haven't been keeping track of this shit? You think people don't in my community don't keep me updated on this shit? Even though I checked out basically for two fucking weeks because I was sick and other stuff, you think I haven't been aware of all of the bullshit drama infighting, leftist infighting, 
dumbassery that has been happening around here recently and the amount of suspensions and bans that have been uh, been uh, handed down in my absence alone. Holy shit. Public, we're not talking about them in public, but my, let's just put it this way. You weren't here for it. My bot keeps track of every user that enters into this room and what they do. And my bot is software on my computer, not a cloud service. So we had a list. We had a list of names, and let's just say we, st we went to work on them. So, yeah, it's super useful to keep receipts. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's... Um, <clears throat> Let's just, um, oh, how shall we put this? Um, <sighs> uh, public, we're not, I, I love you public, but we're not sharing that information. It's tightly, tightly held right now by a very limited set of people. We're keeping those to ourselves until we need them. That's it. Um, days since the left date itself, last date itself, zero. Exactly, exactly, Swede, exactly. All right, so here's the deal. Um, a whole bunch of stuff has been taken away from the channel commands, by the way, or the channel points. Um, for those of you, 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 you all are, um, are, are the people I value. Like, you're here right now, like, Okay, I, I, I love you all. You all need to know this. A lot of the channel point commands and shit like this is not being handled by a streaming service anymore. It's, it has been offloaded from third party and it has been brought in board into the house. I'm working on getting this shit in-house as well. I am trying to offload as much stuff from third-party big tech companies um, as possible. So even, even the fucking announcements and shit like that, all that stuff is being handled locally on the computer. So what that means is the channel point commands are also localized. Um, fucking, okay. Um, is that, hold on, I wanna test something, I wanna test something, I wanna test something. Okay, cool. Um, so, um, for those of you that love your love you some brain, right? Why spend artificial gamified points for something? There's timeouts on command. Uh, 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 there's there's like overtimes. There's there's cooldowns. There's cooldowns on uh, on commands. Um, but it shouldn't cost you anything. We shouldn't gamify the the commands on the channel. So type exclamation brain in chat. Let's see if it works. Okay. See, that's, we needed to test this. We needed to test this. This is this is this is why we do things, folks. All right. Let me look at the triggers for Breen, and ah, that's why. See, see, this is this is why we test stuff, folks. There we go. Um. Who wants to try Cappy? Exclamation Cappy. Um, it's C-A-P-Y for those of you who don't know. It's not two Ps. Okay. So I think my triggers are, I lost all of my chat triggers, it looks like. Okay. So let me do... Let me do, let me just go through these triggers again and make sure. Okay, so please and thank you. This is, this is again why we do shit because enough of this gamified fucking Twitch bullshit trying to drive fucking blah, 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 blah. It's fucking artificial and I hate it. So give me one second and yep, okay. Um, oh, that was already on a Twitch command. All right, cool. Um, uh, chat. Okay. And 
Oh, God damn it, I keep doing that. Okay, cool. All right, there's Cappy. Peaky, 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 peaky. Peaky knows. <laughs> Try it again, Peaky. Or someone else. Try it again. Um, <laughs> Peaky got the command. <laughs> Peaky was there with it. Also, also handled on system. Um, uh, the cooldown is missing on that, but that's okay. Um, let's do an overtime command on that. And then we'll do... There we go. That'll work. Um, Devil, do you not know? Has he two holes? Oh, that's amazing. Uh, Marcus, thank you for the biddies. Um, th I, yes, thank you, Marcus. Um, pocket sand has. It is. It's pocket sand has. Fucking pocket sand. Pocket has. Um, so, yes, we're working on just breaking all of, thank you, Puka. We're working on breaking all of this shit. I'm sick of Twitch's gamified bullshit. I'm sick of the fucking community having to fuck <laughs> four hole theory is the future. Um, let's see. Hang on. I need to, nope. I don't know what, oh, it's because I restored it from, oh, um, oops. All right. Um, Okay, I did that. Where was uh, that? Was the one that I didn't do? All right. Oh. There we go. Um. The interesting thing, by the way, uh, one of the fun things to note about all of this, um. And let's see. Missed one. Um, the fun thing to note about all of this is that all of this is controllable and immediately disableable and cancelable from on board. So you know the, all that shit that other streamers put up with from hate raids and bad faith actors who come in and botting and all of that stuff? I can instantly disable and clear the queue there is there is literally all of it's under my control so all of that shit other people deal with with having to blah 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 i can just it's literally a single click for me um well technically drag uh, mouse down click then click so two clicks it's two clicks technically um <clears throat> Uh, yeah, uh, uh, me toad, uh, donos, tips, uh, dono subs, uh, uh, dono, donos, subscribe, subs, tips, um, donations, um, fucking, yeah, subs, yeah, donation, dono, sub, subscribe, tip, they all fucking work. Um, It is true with her. I actually, yes. Um, are you working directly with the Twitch APIs? Uh, no, I have intermediary software handling some of that, but also I have, um, <coughs> I have hands on. Um, God damn it. Um, fucking, so yeah, please, uh, um, thank you. <laughs> hey, song. Um, Okay, so that is that is an alert that I need to look at. Um, edit a command. Why is that play twice? Edit. Nope, nope. I don't want to trigger. I want. I want a command. Ah, fuck it. I don't care. You know what? Us. Uh, Um, 
So instead, maybe don't put uh, sub reset in the title or description. It might be a good idea for a bit. Um, Okay, I need to put that. There. It's at the top of it. Um, <clears throat> public. Um, okay, so yes, we're, we're working on new technologies. We're working on pulling stuff away from Twitch. We're working on pulling stuff away from Amazon. We're working on pulling stuff away from Streamlabs and Stream Elements. We're trying to internalize and in-house as much stuff as I possibly can. This is going to be a bitch. The chat stuff is going to be a long travail. Um, integrating into the coffee API is going to be pain in the ass because they use a webhook, which is a, uh, an HTTP push rather than. Um, so um, it's going to be a fucking, it's going to be a whole fucking thing. I don't know how effectively I'm going to be able to integrate into the coffee API and bypass it, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, um, no, it is not home. Oh, well, it's not my homegrown. It is homegrown. It's just not my home. Um, and the, uh, the, the soft, uh, the software, uh, developer is Canadian, I believe, actually. Um, no, I am using the second iteration of Learn Board, uh, which recently moved up to version 2.0 and has far more extensibility and um, literally extensions based and um, like a swift coding system. It's the worst coding system in the world to work with, but the software is very lightweight, doesn't call home for any bullshit, integrates into YouTube, Twitch, OBS really effectively um, using a... Um, um, using uh, uh, um, a trigger system um, and a, uh, a fucking framework HTM fi HTML file for OBS to load in its browser socket. Um, very effective, very uh, powerful if you can utilize it and if you know what you're doing with it. Um, I have the ability to control many, many things. Um, like that. That's the iron board. Um, so it's a very fucked up name. Uh, Leoran board. I'll put it in chat. Uh, you want version two. Don't go legacy. Don't go legacy. I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to have to put the overtime, uh, the, the, the cooldowns on some of these commands at a much higher rate, just so everybody knows. Um, cause I know you fuckers will spam them a bit. Uh, but for now we'll leave it as it is. I just want to make sure everything works, get some of the bugs shaken out, that sort of stuff. Um, Hey, boy meets mini. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, love it. Um, Fucking, <clears throat> can mods be excluded from that? We're already to a higher standard. Uh, no, you cannot. Uh, <laughs> holy. Boy meets mini. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hola, Bradley. Como es tu uh, Instagram? No. No Instagram, sorry. Um, ¿Cómo está? Um, yeah, yeah. That's 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 generous, Minnie. That's that's generous, and I'll make sure it goes somewhere that it should go. Um, ah, um, see, uh, see, uh, yeah, bien, bien. Um, <clears throat> uh, yes, I did. Thank you kindly. Let me actually fucking put that on the screen there for a second. Um, I like the, I like the aesthetic. I like the aesthetics in my, it's in the colors. It's in the show colors. It's, it's yeah. Uh, yeah. Love it. And thank you, Karina. Um, okay. So. 
Uh, yes, yes, camel all, um, yes, camel. Um, basically the left ate itself. <laughs> the, 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 the left ate itself once again, as is tradition, I suppose. Um, <laughs> why is Twitch homophobic? I don't know because Twitch hires homophobes. Um, that's probably the long and short of it there. Um, I, you know, as to why are we making that accusation? Uh, the accusation is, um, essentially based on the culmination of many other streamers experience with Twitch, hate raids on Twitch, the um, protection and enabling of the hate raiders on Twitch by uh, the Twitch mod staff and the Twitch corporate structure. And then my personal experience recently having defended the LGBTQ youth uh, uh, in, in a segment or a piece discussing the don't say gay bill that was happening in Florida and then my suspension as a result of that. Um, ah, thank you, public. Thank you, public. Um, all right. So, yeah. Um, it's been, it's, <laughs> um, oh, it's been one week since you looked at me. Um, <clears throat> no, um, it's actually been, well, you know what? It actually has been about a week since you looked at me. Um, so... <laughs> I suppose the bare naked ladies are appropriate in this form and fashion. Um, it has been an interesting uh, two weeks for me, most assuredly. As a creator, as an individual, as somebody who also is dealing with sickness, by the way, still. Um, oh, so. Oh, I'm gaunt. I'm, I'm a little, I've, I'm down five pounds, Zippy. Dude, my body ate itself during that sickness. Dude, I lost, I lost five fucking pounds in a week and a half. In a week and a half, I lost five pounds. All right, that's, that's my metabolism. Uh, the ears are still ringing and somewhat pitch shifted and somewhat a little on the left, a little stuffy still. Um, but they're coming along. Um, I got another horny follower. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay. Thank you, Jay. I love you, Jay, as always. Um, <laughs> yes, we still need, um, uh, we still need to do the hot or not thing for Toos and oh god I forgot it was for Toos and somebody who did that it was for Toos and Amrus I think it was Amrus and for Toos mocked up a hot or not edition um and like tier list for me to do uh with like Trotsky and Stalin and Che and fucking a whole bunch of shit like that um <laughs> um that I see um, so yeah, we still need to do the hot or not thing. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 this is, I lose, I lose weight in my face first camel. It's, it's always apparent when I've been sick. Um, uh, so yeah, I, I, let me, let me go looking. You know what? Let me, let me just go looking. Um, No, no. It should be an archive. I, you know what? I can't do this live. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's Amorous. It's Amorous. Okay, it was Amorous. I am, I am correct. Uh, I've got it. Okay. I was just about to ask one of y'all to go looking in the archive. Um... But I found it. 
So we will do that sometime during tonight's stream. Um, thank you, Puddle. Uh, fucking, I mean, I get it, Swede, but you're talking about like Amazon payment versus PayPal payment, right? Like your, your moral distinction in this regard is questionable. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, there's a Patreon somewhere. <laughs> I don't use it. Um, oh dude, it's not Elon. Dude, pa Elon had nothing to do with PayPal. He had nothing to do with PayPal. Dude, they made fun of, he nearly killed PayPal. Dude, they had to kick him off the fucking board. Yeah. Elon didn't do shit. Um, what's his name? I actually managed to save that fucking company. I had the other douchebag. Um, so, mm. um, all right. <clears throat> um, feel. Thank you. Thank you, sweet. Feel. All right. So it is yeah, blah, 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 consumption under capitalism. <laughs> um, so, uh, all right. Let me just, there we go. Nonsense. 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 It's almost like he's always rode others, co others coattails. Mm, right. Um, so what do we want to do first? Okay. So why is the skin on my face like that? Uh, because I'm coming off of two weeks of being deathly ill Thank, but thanks, thanks. It's it, you know having it having the attention drawn to it and it causing the the derailment in chat is definitely worth it. So you know I'm not actually self conscious about it though because the fact of the matter is is a cut like this or a gauntness like this is generally regarded within modeling agencies as a hireable trait. So really all I've done is make my abs look even sweeter. Um. But anyway, thank you. I'm sure you're a high value individual and you don't eat Big Macs like they're going out of style and probably are like 500 pounds. Anyway, um, what should we do today for the first show back? For the first show back? Because we've already covered um, in before Speedo posing stream. Um, fucking... <laughs> Lucy, uh, we should all get sick. It makes you hot. <laughs> Public. Um, we're doing this. We're doing this. Fuck this. There. By the way, that's not really tight flex. Nor am I leaning back and doing the turn thing that fucking people, guys do to try and to get that ab definition going. That's just me standing. That's what my torso looks like. So, there you go. <laughs> I'm two major illnesses away from my goal weight. <laughs> uh, looks like a cheese grater. You, it's it's it, it's bumpy. It's brr, 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 sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, well, that, that right shoulder is still all fucky. Oh. Oh. Oh, it has been, it has been an interesting thing. It has been an interesting thing, hasn't it? Uh. Thoughts on what statement? Hi, when is the cooking stream? The cooking stream is was um, a thousand likes on a YouTube stream. I think it was. I think it was a, the the agreement was a thousand likes on a YouTube stream or something like that. Um, nice. Uh, I 
I, I, I would take exception with the this is what truly separates an extremist from a revolutionary. You had me up to there, though. Um, you're back on track. I, 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 I would tweak some of the wording, uh, Zero, but... The, the, this is what truly separates. I have a problem with because the truly separates portion of that statement. Um, but otherwise, um, I don't have a whole lot of problems with that statement. Um, so, um, <laughs> viewer count went up with the abs. Um, is it, is it, we should just do shirtless streams from now on? By the way, I'm actually sweating and hot. It is warm in Nevada right now. It's, it's sunny and hot. I was fucking sunbathing before I got it. Uh, like, yeah. Um, so <laughs> just fucking do shirtless streams from now on. Um, <laughs> do, do that again. Uh, uh, winter has been over for like two weeks. It has dig, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been quite a thing. Uh, please make yourself at home. <laughs> yeah, move it over to hot tubs. <laughs> uh, what is warm for me? I'm like, I don't know, 75. Um, In before we regain a lefty fall because they're all subs. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I haven't been able to tell you guys. Oh my God. I haven't been able to tell you guys. I haven't been able to tell you guys. A lot of you, some of you know, some of you don't know because some of you have been like, look, if you're not in the discord server and you're not on voice calls with us, like when we play games and do movie night and hang out, watch punchy boy shit, um, then you miss out on a lot of stuff. Um, but let's just fucking throw the, ta throw the tag up. Um, and go with um yeah yeah zippy let's just let's do do let's do an inaugural uh dj story time we're gonna do like kind of a compression sort of situation going on here um and uh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna compress a few events into a a a quick timeline um but the fact of the matter is is that one kai's a dom now and two kai's a top um for various reasons but the primary driving from um uh, um, from the fact that my neuropathy kind of took my ability to bottom properly away. Um, so I am left little choice. Um, so uh, basically two factors. Um, uh, my neuropathy kind of shredded my ass. Um, it's, it's, it's fine for day to day purposes. I'm not like, you know, it's not, it's not bad. Um, but for bottoming, it's not great. Also to the testosterone supplementation sort of, um, did a thing to the psyche a little bit. Um, so, um, I was super concerned about topping, um, for those that were involved in those conversations, I was worried about rhythm and that sort of stuff. I'm like, dude, I've never done it. I don't know how to do it. I've never really engaged in that aspect of it. Um, and my boy, Kai, uh, my boy, Kai, my boy, cat, dude, see cat, it's cat and cat, dude, we're the same fucking person, cat, even my own brain. I'm confusing us sometimes. My boy, cat fucking told straight up told me, um, uh, fucking like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's not that difficult. You, it, it's there. Sure enough. It's there. Um, that shit ain't difficult. Uh, which by the way, I got a point, uh, I got a point of order what's what's the deal with all the bad dick I got over the years? Because that shit ain't that difficult. I, I don't know what the deal is, but it ain't that difficult. I got point I, I, I got questions now. Um homie. Either way. So my first um my first top <laughs> oh my first top like a Six one, six two, buck eighty five, buck ninety five, big old black dude. Just kind of stacked black dude. I gotta type, right? Um, <laughs> um. So I went over to his place one night in the middle of the week and hooked up with him. Really, really, um. 
Hey, thank, thank you, thank you, Karina. Um, and I hooked up with him. Had a good mouth. Had a good time. I was like, all right, I can, you know, um, um, hundred views on a YouTube live stream. Do a cooking stream. Well, we never got there. We'll have to see. Um, so I go over to his place. Good time. You know, he was, he was. He was correct in the right ways, um, for me at least. Um, so I um, invited him over to my place uh, over the week uh, over that weekend, and I straight up uh, like made a nest in the bedroom. Like we just fucking we got down, right? We got down. But he comes over and he's got like product in his hair, like greasy product. And he lays down on me, which by the way is hilarious because after the first time I kind of went to town on him. Right. Um, side note, uh, one of the things I really enjoyed was him trying to get away. Um, no cat, I'm not. Um, so a oh, shirt off for the story. What the fuck? It, <laughs> you Fucking horny motherfuckers. Um, Jesus goddamn Christ. Um, I don't know who the nay votes are, actually. Um, God, I'm, God, I'm, uh, I, you won't get banned for this, Glazy. Uh, guys are allowed to be shirtless. Guys are allowed to be shirtless. Um, yeah, no, we looked into it. We looked into it. Yeah, we looked, we looked, we looked, we looked into it. Guys are allowed to be shirtless. Um, boy meets many. I respect it. Um, E composer, fuck optics, fuck optics, optics. I used to care about optics. You know what optics got me? An indefinite suspension as reported by fellow leftists. So fuck optics. Optics got me nothing. Optics got me absolutely fucking nothing. Um, <laughs> a lot of, um, so one of the things, uh, one of the things that I really enjoy, um, is the fact that like I was, I, I was, I was, I was working this dude. I was working this dude. Uh, I was fine. I found the rhythm like immediately. And I was like, I was going at it, like had him on the edge of the bed, edge of the bed. And I was just fucking going at it and, you know, throw a little hip, um, um, throw a little hip into, uh, into it. And he tries to like, get away, which by the way is a bottom is a lifelong bottom. I got to say, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. No bad showing, bad showing, but he tried to get away. Um, one of my favorite things I reached up and grabbed his fucking shoulder and went at it. Right. Absolutely amazing. That in the back of my head, I'm like, yes, this works. Right. The actual act itself Eh, whatever. Topping is inferior to bottoming. It is. By the way, bottoms have a far more um, marvelous time mentally, physically. Bottoming is a superior act. Um, but yeah, he tried to get away. He tried to run away a little bit across the bed. So I fucking reached. I leaned down, grabbed that shoulder and fucking reeled him in. Um, <laughs> so um, the reason I... No, is because when he was over to my place, he, um, well, afterwards when I was d done with him, like, right, he's laying on my chest right here. Like he's curled up, like sort of like I violated him and he's eh, sort of thing. Right. Um, and so like scrawny ass white boy, me, and there's just a big old black dude. Right. And I've got my arm, uh, arm around him. Right. So when he comes the second time, when he comes over to, when he comes the second time, when he comes over to my house, he fucking curls, uh, initially curls up on me and, <laughs> Hey, y'all motherfuckers. Um, by the way, it's exclamation side cam for the side cam command. You don't have to redeem those points. Just saying. Um, anyway, second a second time he comes over over the weekend, he um, he climbs on me and he starts like, he, he curls up on me and that sort of thing, which by the way, he, he liked my scent. Pheromones are a motherfucker, right? Like pheromones are a motherfucker. He was right here. He was right here. But he lays his head down on me. He's got some fucking product in his hair. Greasy ass fucking product. I was like, ow, what the fuck is that? And he got self-conscious about it. He's like, do you have any shampoo? And I'm like, yeah, let me get you some shampoo. So he goes in my sink and he doesn't want to take a shower. I was like, you can take a fucking shower. I don't care. I'll join you. 
Um, but he goes to my sink and he starts washing his fucking hair out. Right. And I couldn't help myself. It was a sexy man bent over in front of my sink. Um, I watched, I made sure his head was not under the tap. So he didn't, you know, do one of these and cause bleeding or anything like that. I didn't want to hurt, like hurt, hurt the guy. Um, but yeah, he was bent over in front of my sink. <laughs> So I walked up behind him and I did what I did and he um, stood up and like reached around to sort of like grasp and pull me in further. But when he stood up, I disappeared in the mirror. This dude just dwarfs me. It was, that's how I got a true read on the size of this dude. I was like, he, he just, he stood up and I was like, whoa. I just disappeared. Uh, <laughs> so that was number one and number two topping experiences. Since then, I've had, I don't know, I've already lost count. Six, eight, something like that. Um, it's not difficult to get laid as a, uh, as a gay dude. Um, you know, two rules, be a gay, uh, gay male and two, don't be ugly. Um, it's really fucking simple to get laid. Um, so I'm a dom and a top now. I'm really good at doming. Um, I've got those. I switched the kink profiles immediately. I switched everything up. Um, fucking bottoms just came out of the fucking woodwork, dude. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I rule three. Don't be too rural. Nah, I could probably pull in your neck of the woods even. Um, twunk energy? Yeah, twunk energy. 100% Aka. 100%. Um, just fucking, you know, got the fucking look. You know, you get that pose going, get the fucking abs, you know, you get fucking arms. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent twunk energy. And it just, dude, they're lined up. They're fucking lined up. I, I mean, literally they're lined up. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so there you go. There's your first fucking DJ story back, back. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, oh, interesting. Side cam, uh, uh, command did not work. Let me check it. Um, nope, nope, nope. Triggers. Side cam. That should have worked. Oh, it's because it's on massive cooldown. Yeah, there's, there's a cooldown on it. Yeah, that's all. Um... Why not vag? Because vagina is... Ugh. Jesus Christ. Ugh. It's like a fucking axe wound. There we go. Um, sup, Wither? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's 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 the, the sexual update for Kai. Uh, I saw a guy saw teeth as a child and never covered teeth. How, when was teeth fucking? Cause I don't think I saw that as a child. Yeah. 2007 homie. I saw teeth when I was. Twenty three or some shit. Um. Yeah. Like. Cassie, it's like, dude, kid, fucking teeth. I mean, Jesus, that's that. Yeah, that, I was not a child. Um, all right, let me go back to politics. We're headed back over to politics. Um, yeah, I don't know anything. I don't know the first thing about fucking attracting lesbians. Actually, you know what? I've had a few lesbians over the years. Um, always the 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 butch, always butch lesbians that think I'm uh, that think I'm uh, like a sort of um, like a tomboyish lesbian. I've had a few of those. All right, watch your clip, watch your clip, watch your clip, watch your clip. I got you, 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 I got you. All right. Oh my God, the fucking clip name is hilarious too. Cowering, onerous, ja uh, uh, jalapeno of uh, OS frog. What the fuck? All right. I got a point of order. What's what's the deal with all the bad dick I got over the years? Because that shit ain't that difficult. 
I, I don't know what the deal is, but it ain't that difficult. I got point. I, I, I got questions now. Um, homie, either way. So my first, um, my first top, oh, <laughs> uh, my first top, I got a point. Uh, Fair enough. Um, all right. You want this as a sound. Um, <clears throat> <sighs> Wait, did somebody somebody asking me about fucking titties? Cause whoa, no, I I don't, homie, no. Uh, no, good tit. I don't, ho homie, glazy. I don't like tits on men or women. No, just no. As far as the question of tits goes, just no. Um, fire, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I got a workout in today, fire. So, I mean, that's, you know, there you go. Um, uh, making, I'm, I'm making headway fires. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's super easy, Glazy. It's super fucking easy. Just because your heteronormative brain doesn't comprehend the con uh, concept doesn't mean it's not possible. Um, Public, I envy it. I actually envy it, public. To fucking, dude, pan is an enviable position. Dude, you just fucking, I mean, I don't know if I could handle being pan, though. I don't know if I could handle being pan. It'd be too much temptation to all the time. Like, I can, I can, see, I get, I get, like, you know, I can hang out with, uh, with chicks, and I just get a break, right? Straight dudes and chicks, I get a break. If I were pan, I'd, I'd, I'd be a little too horned up. I'm good with it. Um, so, all right. So like some, sh I heard some shit snapped off while I was off of, off the air. Uh, something about Russia. I don't know. I wasn't really paying close attention to it anyway. Um, I'm sure if it's an important story, there will be headlines about it. I'm, I haven't really been paying very close attention. What can I say? Um, but I'm I'm certain there have been a um I, I'm certain there have been a, a plethora of sincere, well researched, well thought out, uh, analytical positions that have been put forth by both uh, political streamers on Twitch and elsewhere. Of course, um, I, I I'm sure no one has given in to just rampantly, randomly br blaming cunt uh, various countries and entities and lacking complete and utter nuance of any kind while they do some sort of spiel that would probably end up getting a large amount of people deaded. I'm sure that has not been occurring whatsoever. So with that being said, if... I, uh, <laughs> if, if I need to answer any questions or if I, if I need to, if you have any points that you would like me to cover, that is fine. Um, but we will, we can, we can go from there. I think basically everything about the Ukraine Russia situation that needs to be said has been said at this point. Um, But <laughs> corn, um, you know, not not a huge fan, Kamas, but corn on the cob, like um, uh, grilled, um. Oh God, why is it fucking escaping me? Uh, elote, there we go, elote, um, like uh, Mexican uh, corn on the cob. I'm down, right? You grill it off, put some lime, some salt, some chili, uh, chili powder, a little um queso on there. Fuck yeah. Um, not a huge fan otherwise. <laughs> Marcus. 100%, yes. Because why not? Fuck it. Um, public. That's that's fair. That's fair. Dude, there's been a lot of shit takes. Uh, there have been a lot of shit takes as far as, um, as, far as all of that uh, goes. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Um, 
God, I just remember that one fucking song with the bullet that travels the whole time with fucking Jonathan Davis, like, scatting. Oh, God. I just, re that song is just embedded in my head. That's literally the only corn song I can conjure in my head. Um. No, I haven't, Akka. I haven't. Is Jackson Hinkle an op? Dude, I got, I suspect a whole bunch of people are ops now. Like, I, I, I haven't gone in for that in the past. Dude, there's a lot of fucking people that I, I've got my eye on now. That I'm like, holy fuck me. These fuckers are on payroll or some shit. Right? Like, I, I don't think there's that many true blue believers out there. I don't think there's that many true blue believers. I've met a lot of people in my life. Not many people actually believe the shit they, they talk about. Freak on a leash. Thank you, Car Accident. By the way, Car Accident was the first person here in chat long before anything else. Like, fucking Car Accident was in here fucking putting in doom, 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 doom. Car Accident was fucking in here doing the uh, the doom song. Straight up. Like, hours ago. Preach. Respect, man. Thanks. Um, yeah, uh, Freak on a leash. Um... So, yeah, dude, I, 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 I got my eye on a whole lot of people now, dude, between, between, between the fucking hashtag cancel Kai bullshit and this Ukrainian bullshit, holy fuck, man, there's some motherfuckers on payroll or something. What is going on? What is going on with some of these crazy fuckers? Dude, yeah. Um, did anybody see, while we're at it. While we're at it, um, while we're at it, does anybody y'all saw the photos of fucking, um, fucking has and shit, um, <laughs> tanky stopper supporting Russia challenge impossible, um, y'all see has and those fucking other idiots like fucking Samir Khan and fucking Caleb Maupin and fucking all at the, all the other douchebags in Austin today, yesterday, whatever. Um, yeah, um, creepy motherfuckers, just creepy motherfuckers. Oh, uh, let me see if I can find this photo. Just God damn, what the fuck is wrong with these people? There we go. There we go. Um, do not trust any of these motherfuckers. They're at a conference in Austin, Texas for the CPI, like the, I don't fucking, uh, center for public, I don't know, intercourse. I don't fucking know what these idiots <laughs> initialisms actually stand for, but their opening ceremony straight up had, uh, the Soviet and American flags with the international and the star spangled banner playing simultaneously in the background before unveiling the, I, I can't, I can't do you could Donetsk, 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 whatever the fuck the Donetsk people's Republic flag. Like I, I don't, Yes, yes, that is Abraham Lincoln as like a Soviet like era uh, fucking uh, statue. Yeah, that's that's a hundred percent. Yeah, like th this is this is this is. Can we do something about these people? Like, what the fuck, man? Yes, exactly. Patriotic socialists. They're those retards. Oh, sorry. I can't say that on fucking Twitch. My bad. Uh, I apologize uh, on behalf of Kai, myself, and the entire Proudly Radical channel. I, uh, I, I, I had a slip of the tongue. And as such, I, 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 I have taken time to reflect upon my uh, poor choice of words and the internalized hatred that was taught to me by society and my peers, and I will strive to do better as I move forward in this world. Um, yes. 
I'll 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 be uh, I'll be donating to I don't know what's what's one of the what's what's a charity that like that that would be associated with. I don't know. Is the Communist Party of America still a fucking FBI op? Anyway, so. <clears throat> On uh, zero, some people like tongue slippage. CPAC. Um, uh, so, oh, um, I love this photo. Where is this photo? Do I have it? I have to have it, right? I had it. There we go. There we go. This is my favorite photo. I had this, 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 this photo going around. Love it. This is a woman getting arrested in Russia, which, by the way, absolutely has freedom of speech in their constitution. Um, and in no way is an oppressive totalitarian dictatorship. This is a woman who is being arrested in this photo for holding a blank piece of paper. It's a blank sign. This sign says nothing. This hasn't been photoshopped out. She literally stood there with a blank sign and, oh, Bobby, goddamn you. Um, thank you, Bobby. Um, and she was arrested by the completely, completely patriotic and not at all bootlicking pieces of shit cops that, um, that, uh, are, <laughs> poster board is illegal, that are the, uh, maintainers of the status quo for the, uh, the, uh, state that, of course, has a monopolization on force in Russia, just as it does here. Um... So, yes, I'm sure, again, somebody like Has would be defending that as she's a reactionary, so she deserves it, or it's fake news or something like that, right? I mean, that's usually how those idiots go, what they go to, is that it's fake news, and it's fucking, oh, it's it's, it's a CIA op, and fucking, I made that up, and I, 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 I fucking, whatever, whatever. By the way, uh, I, I, you know, you get a wicked paper cut. Exactly, public. Exactly. Uh, that's, I, that photo just, mm, love it. Oh, God. Uh, so the Russian Orthodox Church, though, in Amsterdam has announced a split with Moscow. Like, the Russian Orthodox Church elsewhere is splitting from the Russian Russian Orthodox Church, with which is a hilarious schism. I love uh, I love religious schisms. Religious schisms are beautiful. Um, the Russian Orthodox Church outside of Russia is splitting with the, from the Russian Orthodox Church in Russia. So I don't know what they're gonna call themselves. But the, like, non-Russian Russian Orthodox Church, I don't know what the verbiage is going to be, um, but it's definitely a thing that's happening, and I think it's hilarious. So, look, up, look for that again. Um, oh, uh, why don't we, um, why don't we take a moment, um... Be like the Anglican Church splitting from the Queen, uh, the unorthodox Russian Orthodox Church. <laughs> Nonsense. I really do love you, my man. You know that, right? Ah. Uh, so, does anybody want to um see the picture of the man who got me my death threat from a tanky today? This was my first death threat from a tanky today. Um, for those of you who don't uh, weren't uh, weren't around for this morning on the Discord server. Um, yes, we managed to get, I managed to rack up a death threat before I had even left bed, basically. It was, tankies are an impressive group, right? They, for, for all of the rap that the anarchists get, hey, Hassan, you piece of shit, fake fucking socialist capitalist piece of shit. Um, you know, for all the rap that anarchists get for being violent, um, tankies still just drop death threats left and right. So why don't we show a picture and 
get into the conversation as to the individual that spurned on this conversation because I posted this picture, uh, posted a picture of this individual, um, because two days ago, uh, when I wasn't on, when I wasn't streaming was, um, the, uh, anniversary of, uh, this, uh, of, um, uh, fucking, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, it's Manol, but I can never do it. Vassive, Vassive. I think it's, uh, Vassive. Um, Manuel Vassiv's assassination. It's, this is Manuel Vassiv. Manuel Vassiv was an anarcho-syndicalist um, in um, Bulgaria, and he was assassinated by communist secret police one day before his scheduled release from prison. He basically was a tobacco worker by trade, and then he turned to anarchism while serving in the uh, front in the world War, in World War One, becoming a labor organizer and a speaker. He was persecuted for his work, of course, uh, and then he ended up serving time in prison. He assumed a fake identity. Um, he was actually born uh, Jordan, oh God, Sotryov. Uh, Jordan Sotryov, I think is his birth name. Forgive my pronunciation. Um, but he adopted the, the name Manol to escape authorities. He was an active anti-fascist during World War II. Dude put skin in the game. He got shit done. Let's just put it that way. He was then arrested for com by the communist uh, police for the first time on March 10th, 1945, uh, along with a whole bunch of other delegates uh, for, to the National Conference for the Anarchist Communist Federation uh, uh, near Sofia. And he was interned at a concentration camp in... Uh, I, I can't do the fucking Russian names and shit like that. Um, but he served five years in prison and uh, 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 a trial was held for a second sentence. You know, as you do. Um, as, as communist tradition as it goes, you know, he, he was convicted of a crime and he served his sentence. And while he was finishing out his sentence, they decided to charge him with another crime and make him serve another sentence. Um, gotta love it. Um, held in public, he was accused of being an agent in pay of the Anglo-Americans. Um, he interrupted the accusation by retorting, it wasn't me who signed the Tehran and Yalta treaties with the English and the Americans, and it was, wasn't me who went to London to kiss the skirt of the Queen of England. He died the day before his release, poisoned by the Bulgarian secret police. So, Menel. Uh, uh, Mano Vassiv, everyone. Um, two days ago was the anniversary of his assassination by communist secret police. So I post this story and I post, I post this picture in remembrance and I post the story of this individual and a fucking piece of shit tanky. As, why I bother say, look, if I say tanky, just assume I'm saying a horrible human being who is an utter piece of shit and will shoot you in the back when you're not looking, okay? If I just say tanky, just understand I'm clausing it with that. They are the worst people in the world. Um, and I'm including like nail whips and shit in that, by the way. Tankies are psychotic. They're like mentally unstable. They got shit going on. Um, a tanky who, by the way, joined the server like October of last year, never said a fucking word up, right? Keep in mind, folks, you got people amongst you who are listening that you cannot be trusted. Always remember that. Um, this fucking idiot comes out of the woodwork and starts talking about how fucking this guy deserved it because he's a reactionary and we're reactionaries and fuck you idealists and all of this sort of shit. And eventually, of course, it just uh, devolves into you should be purged, you should be killed. Because that's all tankies are about. We, we got out of him that... Um, gay people shouldn't exist and that gay people wouldn't exist under communism because material conditions uh we got uh we got sort of like you know he wouldn't answer the jewish question wouldn't answer the jewish question and then he got to the point where he literally said f a world with far less kais in it would be a better world so that was my first death threat from a tanky today i tend to rack up at least one a day if i'm streaming I, you know then we can probably hit double digits. I don't even talk about most of them most of the time. They just come in via DM and private message and shit. I just ignore them. But yeah, tankies threaten my life on the regular. That's just for being gay, for being an anarchist, for being white, for being me. Fuck yeah, public. Fuck yeah. Um... Yeah, so that was my first death threat of the day. Um, oh, 
oh, you just, I, I need to place that fucking thing way out of price range. No offense, but I hate this thing. Um, Cassie, yep, I get them on the regular. Um, <laughs> public. Uh, I don't even know where to start. There's so many headlines. There's so much shit we could cover. I don't know where to start. If perfectly honest, do we need to like, there have been so many cop shootings. Oh, you know what we should talk about because it's local to me. Sorry. Um, dear, I'm being a public figure is taxing. It is. Um, uh, a Ramsey's learning that quickly. A Ramsey got his first meme. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a Ramsey is running for, um, office in the Netherlands. Um, he's actually putting skin in the game. Um, He's getting out there and he was stump speeching out on a fucking like corner. He was literally like soapboxing. Um, and somebody took a, a photo of him and he had a meme. Like it's making the rounds in like Dutch social media of him. Um, yeah, a Ramsey, Ramsey has been memed officially for the first time and he sent it to me and sent me a translation of it. Um, and so, yeah, he, he said it was, you know, weird for him that like, um, it was surreal seeing a random meme of yourself being shared around. And I told him you better get used to it, Mr. Politician. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, Ramsey got memed. Um, but anyway, so the thing that, um, um, the local thing, nine fucking years it took. Seven? No, nine. Um, so a bunch of activists in Las Vegas were, um, were chalking, hey, be over. Um, oh, I can just show it to you. Hold on. I'll just show it to you. He's a public figure and he's streamed, so I don't think he will care about me showing his face. Um, Gemma, oh, you should've been here for the beginning. Dude, I lit this place on fucking fire, Gemma. Uh, you would've been proud. Fucking homophobic, fucking transphobic piece of shit Twitch mod staff. Oh yeah, I fucking called everybody out. Also fellow leftists. Um, but hey there, Gemma, and thank you. So um, for those of you who don't know what a Ramsey looks like, a Ramsey is the uh, the hair bun, the, just the epic beard, the epic fucking beard, right? Okay, so basically what it says is functionally, uh, when a potential voter asks how large the difference between the Greens and Labor is. Um, so there we go. So activists in Las Vegas were charged with felonies for chalking the sidewalk outside of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department years and years and years ago. It has just been ruled nine, seven or nine years ago. My timeline is fuzzy right now in my head. Um, seven to nine years ago, um, it, yeah, Aka, felonies. Um, dude, it's a felony crime in Las Vegas to be charged, uh, charged with graffiti. Tagging in Las Vegas is a felony. Um, so here's the deal. Um, it, they, um, it has been ruled that it falls under first amendment speech and that they were illegally targeted. Um, it also was shown that the police department unfairly uh, enforced the law and uh, essentially they only targeted chalkers who criticized Metro, who criticized the police department. They were able to prove that in a court of law, that Metro had only enforced this against people who had chalked anti-police slogans. Anybody else who had chalked the sidewalks? and it wasn't an anti-police slogan or an anti-police sentiment was not charged. So it was shown that one, it's within their first amendment rights and two, that the police were um, uh, unfairly unequally applying this uh, law. So it was 
finally fucking thrown out after like, like I said, seven to nine years this has been in court. <sighs> oh, was was Scott was 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 the wrestler taken off of uh, life support today? Come on, I saw that going around. I saw that going around. Oh, interesting. I can wait. I can do that. Oh, interesting. Did you know we can individually track users as suspicious now mod team? Just FYI, we can individually track users as suspicious. Uh, yeah, Cribs, and of course they took their time deciding that case. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I'm sure it was it, apropos of nothing, Marcus. Apropos of absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, Crimson, you're fucked. Um, you're absolutely fucked. Um, so, oh, for the love of God, please stop subscribing over Twitch. Um... Ross Publica. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. But um, y'all need to like stop subscribing over Twitch. Um, thank you, Cassidy. If you chalk a four square grid but put a cab in it, does it cancel itself out? Um, be over. Why? One. Uh, because Twitch is one. Amazon... Fine, fine. You know what? Fine, Karina. Fine. Um, give me one sec. Um, Sands because that's my font of choice. I think we're something like this. Hey, Tam. Yogi! What's up, Yogi? Um... I, you know, the... F uh, what's up, Weasel? I don't even know where to fucking go from, th from there. Um... Dude, I, I, it's so many fucking cop stories. So, so many, so many do, so many cop stories, stories. Um, so many fucking cop stories. Holy shit. I, I, you know, fucking, I was gone for a while. It's difficult to keep up with the cop stories because there's like a dozen a day. The cops in this country are absolutely out of fucking pocket. They're cra they're crazy as fuck. Um, okay. So there was the 12 year old, a 12 year old in Philadelphia last week that got shot in the fucking back. Um, if you think I was ever woke 
then fuck right off. Like, apparently you have no idea what this channel is or who I am or what I've ever done if you think that I am woke. Like, dude, woke people have been coming for me for ages. So, I don't know. Fuck, just learn. sit down, shut the fuck up, and learn something, you small dick, piddly little motherfucker. That's all I got for you. Um, yeah, 12 year old fucking running away. Um, fuck it. Uh, 12 year old was running away who shot in the back, running away from the fucking cops because, well, I mean, they're cops. They're scary, right? They murder people. They murder people all the time, right? Cops just murder motherfuckers. And if you're wondering, uh, what he fucking looked like, if you're like, oh, was he clearly a black? This is the kid. This is the kid. This, this, this is the kid. They shot this kid in the fucking back. He's 12 fucking years old. They shot him in the back while he was running. And then they tried to uh, claim that he had a gun. By the way, the gun had a fucking record on it a mile goddamn long. It was a drop gun by the cops. I guarantee goddamn to you that shit will come out in a year or two years after the discovery occurs with the trial. Um, so they will, um, what will, uh, what will happen is we'll find out that the gun was actually planted because, oh, fucking cops never plant guns or drugs. They get caught doing it all the goddamn time. Fucking my stepdad, the, you know, federal firearms dealer literally had an NYPD officer who I know tell him that if he was going to come in the city, he should have a drop gun. Okay. Like my own, at my own family, who is involved at the federal level with firearms. Uh, firearms. I've told these fucking stories. He grew up with the goddamn regional director of the ATF, for fuck's sake. Like, trust me, we're integrated. Um, straight up, cop told him, you need a drop. Um, I guarantee goddamn to you that that weapon was a drop pistol by a fucking cop. They tried to frame this fucking kid for having a dirty gun on him, and then it found out that he did not have a fucking... He didn't fire any guns. He's never shot a gun. They tried to claim that he shot someone. He tried. They tried to claim that he was firing the gun, and the fucking family got the uh, got the uh, morticians, got the the funeral home to do a GS uh, a GSR test on the kid. Yeah, of course it came back negative. This kid had no gunshot residue whatsoever on him. The story goes right out the fucking window. So the Philadelphia police shot some fucking random twelve year old while he was running down the street in the back. I I. I just like, you know, um, <clears throat> there was the Fort Lauderdale police chief. There was the Fort Lauderdale police chief who uh, got fired. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, me too. Boston PD got caught doing it. Uh, fucking Baltimore got caught doing it. NY got caught doing it. LA, Chicago. Fucking dude, they all got caught doing that shit. Um, there's the Fort Lauderdale police chief who got fired for putting a uh, putting fucking minorities on his team. He promoted fifty. He promoted fifteen people from August to November, and of that group, six of them were ethnic or gender minorities selected for promotions based on their merit. And so, the city of Fort Lauderdale fired him. So anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, no, it really was stated as the, it was, it was his promotional policies that got him fired, Blazy. Yes. It was his promotional policies. Straight up. <laughs> Welcome back from your totally reasonable and legitimate ban. Ah, uh, thank you, Squiddy. Um, yes, I've been lighting fires today. I've been lighting fires. Let's just fuck, fuck it, fuck it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this platform's already canceled me. Um, did we? I everybody had to have seen. Um, everybody had to have seen the Black Panther. Sh um, ah, level. Fucking go back and watch the VOD level. Level. You're gonna want to see the beginning of this VOD. I fucking was on a tear. Um. Everybody had to have seen the Black Panther director, uh, right? Like, m the dude goes into his bank and tries to withdraw $12,000 in cash, has ID, has his debit card, has all the appropriate paperwork. The fucking cashier calls the goddamn cops on him. The cops come in and, er and fucking haul him out in handcuffs for trying to get money out of his own fucking account. <clears throat> yeah. 
Uh, also, not the first time it's happened to a black man going into a bank trying to cash a check or withdraw money. Oh, level, 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 please, for the love of God, don't fucking sub on Twitch. Um, this is far from the first time. I believe Bank of America, no, it was Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, um, Wells Fargo fucking uh, called the cops on a black dude and he ended up fucking suing him and the settlement check, he went in and tried to fucking deposit the settlement check and they called the cops on him again. This, this is this is not the first time. This is far from the first time. This shit be a pattern, y'all. Um, fucking, yeah, it, it's, I fucking, mm, so many of them. Um, oh God, there was the Cumberland guy that was accused of like sadistic fucking assaults on a woman. Um, let's see. Oh, there was the chick. There was the, the, the female cop who fucking told a dude who hauled an explosive out of a fucking river and called the fucking cops and said, like, I found a goddamn live explosive in the river. This bitch comes up and fucking gets lippy with him and starts arguing with him and saying how he's wasting resources. Bitch, I found a live explosive in the fucking river. What the fuck do you, th what is your purpose then? She literally accuses this dude of wasting police resources for, try for trying to get them to dispose of a live fucking explosive he found in his local river. Um, it's a great video of it, by the way. Um, fucking. <laughs> oh. Fucking. Oh, oh, uh, there was the, um, oh God, who, who, who is that? Where is that? I forget where that is. Um, New York. It was New York. It wasn't NYPD. It was one of the fucking, fucking bum fuck nowhere towns in New York. But a uh, cop was assaulted the dude who tried to go in and file a complaint. And here, you want to see what, what he fucking did to him? Here you go. This is a photo from the video. I've got the video too. Um, this is a photo of the video. Uh, this is a screenshot of the video of what happened when this dude tried to go in and file a complaint against this very cop. Cop fucking choked him out. That's what happened when he tried to file a complaint. He was, the guy was an abusive cop to start with. The guy went, tried to go and file a complaint. So the cop intersected him in the, uh, inter, uh, 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 fucking, uh, intercepted him in the parking lot at the police station and fucking tried to knock the camera out of his hand and choke him. Oh, uh, let's see. Then there was the former Pennsylvania police chief who uh, was found guilty of raping a child hundreds of times when she was six years old and continuing until she was 11 years of age. That was a police chief. Oh, uh, let's see. What else? What else? Um, let's see. Um... Oh, there was the Zachary Rolf one in Australia. Um, fucking, he, they killed this, uh, 19 year old Aboriginal dude. And they said that like, you know, uh, they, they, they of course accused him of doing things, but he has been cleared. Um, and so now it's just a matter of like, Hey, look, the Australian cops killed another Ab Aboriginal kid because they kill Aboriginal kids. Um, Oh, um, the fucking LAPD was tried to arrest somebody in France. The fucking LAPD chief was on vacation in France and had a fucking like bodyguards from the LAPD and they tried to arrest people in France. The Los Angeles Police Department thinks their jurisdiction extends into France. This is how fucking stupid these motherfuckers are. I mean, let's face it, they've already uh, they've already filtered people for uh, low IQs anyway, so it makes sense. Um, fucking, oh, uh, let's see. Oh, there was the Las Vegas police officer who uh, try uh, who robbed three casinos with his department issued gun. How'd that hold up, by the way? Oh, fuck around and find out. Casinos don't give a shit if you're a cop. Casinos run this town. The cops work for the casinos in this town. That's how this shit works. And he robbed three off-strip casinos with his fucking 
department-issued handgun. Yeah, they tracked that motherfucker's ass down. Straight up. That motherfucker's gonna be doing time. He's facing life. He's facing life. You do not fuck with casinos. The only thing in Las Vegas more important than the fuck it, than Metro is the goddamn casinos. Do not fuck around. You will find out. He's facing life in jail right now. Um... And uh, the most recent that I know of that I've been keeping track of was the fleeing Hispanic man who wasn't their suspect. There's a dude who was trying to get the fuck away from the cops because the fucking LAPD is goddamn nightmare gang ridden fucking evil entity that just murders people left and right. He's trying to get the fuck away from him. Wasn't their suspect. They shot him in the back too. You know, cops have an interesting pattern of shooting people in the back. That's almost like uh, cops are cowardly pieces of shit. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, interesting. Um, just saying. Seems to, be, seems to be a pattern amongst them that they have low IQs. They have no balls to speak of. They seem to be cowardly little punk bitches who try and, well, abuse children and marginalized communities and minorities who can't speak up. Hey, Deirdre, Deirdre, what's up, my man? Punk, take care of yourself, sleep well. Look after yourself, my man. Um. <sighs> yeah, and that's, I mean, that's just, just a cursory and they're significant others. Yes, you, you, you are correct, Wither. Thank you for interjecting that, Wither. You know, 40%. They do like to beat their spouses, too. They're professional class traders and authority junkies. Uh, yes, that they are, Carpe. That they are. Uh, then go to work and abuse some more, right? Fucking. Uh, the, the cop version of 16 tons. Somebody needs to write that. Six, another 16 tons and what do you get there needs to be a cop version of that it'd be funny another another black eye what do you get you know what 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 do you what 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 part of what part of class trader what do you mean twitch couldn't be anti-lgbt they've proven their track they've proven with their track record and they've proven it recently with this channel Wither, you need to look up. You you got some you got some looking up to do, Wither. Uh you need to look up Tennessee Ford 16 tons. Yeah, dude, that's that's public. Yeah, public. Uh Glazy, no, I'm saying that they uh banned me because I defended the um uh, I defended the LGBTQ plus uh youth of Florida against the don't say gay bill. And I have uh, evidence as such um, as to the content they pulled from my channel. Yeah, that is that is why I got banned because I dared to point out that the GOP and conservatives in this nation mean harm to the LGBTQ plus community and the LGBTQ plus youth of Florida by enacting that bill. And that was what Twitch took action on. Twitch defended it. <laughs> Level. Twitch star thought working hard. Groypers hate rate on marginalized streamers. Credit criticism of veterans for actual hate crimes. Um. Yeah, I'm surprised you've never heard 16 tons. I mean, you've had to have heard it. Um. Like. Yeah, I heard about that. The veterans are a protected class on fucking Twitch. <laughs> uh, was born one morning when the sun didn't shine. I picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine. I loaded 16 tons of number nine coal and the straw boss said, well, bless my soul. You load 16 tons, what do you get? 
Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. You've had to have heard it, Wither. You've had to have heard it. It's, 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 it is one of the most. Yeah, it's one of the most classic songs of any era. Um, hey, tech support. No, you are. This is the day. This is this is my first day back. Deirdre, I can sing. My my vocal coach has informed me of that before as well, because <laughs> I told her I'm like I can't sing. I've never I've never trained. I've never. She's like, well, you know. And she had me do some scales and exercises when she was at the piano. She's like, see, you can sing. You just have no training in it, so you're you're like you're a little all over the place, and you can't quite necessarily hold the key that you need to hold. But you got the voice for it. Ah. I mean, maybe, Bobby. Practice does make better. Exactly, Carpet. Exactly. My All my vocal training is for, uh, like, theater, not musical theater. Oration, speech giving, theater, that sort of stuff. Um, But, yeah, I can, you know, especially that lower register that uh, 16 Tons works in. Company store. I can work there. Um, <laughs> we don't need the key. We'll break it. Rage against the machine. Oh, that motherfucker doing NFTs. God damn it, Morello. <sighs> um, so, what should we do next? Um, fucking, we definitely... Uh, dude, single pause on a player's on board is crazy. It, it, you know, I like it. I, I, I like both version of, uh, versions of it, Kat. Um, do you want to do a rendition of Mark Anthony's funeral speech from Julius Caesar? Dude, I don't think I've ever... I No, I've never had to do that speech. Um, but... Oh, that's a long one. Let's see. See if I can on the fly this. This is, this is, this is, oh, fuck me. Friends, no, I don't like that. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. I come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is oft interred with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus hath told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it was a grievous fault, and grievously hath Caesar answered it. Here under leave of Brutus and the rest, for Brutus is an honorable man. So are they all, all honorable men. Come, I too speak in fun Caesar's funeral. He was my friend, faithful and just to me. But Brutus says he was ambitious. And Brutus is an honorable man. He hath brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. Did this and Caesar seem ambitious? When that the poor hath cried, Caesar hath wept. Ambition should be made of sterner stuff. Yet Brutus says he was ambitious. And Brutus is an honorable man. You all did see that on the Lupercal. I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. Was this ambition? Yet, Brutus says he was ambitious, and sure, he is an honorable man. I speak not to disprove of what Brutus spoke, but I am here to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause is to withhold you then to mourn for him? O oh, judgment! Thou art fled to brutish beats, and man have lost their reason. Bear with me. My heart is in that coffin there with Caesar, and I must pause till it come back to me. Not my favorite rendition, not my favorite reading of it. I'd have to put more work into it as a monologue, but there's a reading of uh, Mark Antony's speech. And that line, and yet Brutus is an honorable man. God, I love that line. It really is a great line. Um, anyway, so 
What else? Um, Tulsi Gabbard is a Russian agent. We already knew that. Um... Oh, Elon Musk is having a meltdown because um, Grimes is dating Chelsea Manning. So Grimes, uh, so Elon is like all like angry about like transgendered soldiers and shit now. Um, he's 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 tr he's he's pissing in the wind and talking shit recently. Uh, but yes, yeah, because Elon is actually um, pissed uh, that Grimes is dating Chelsea Manning. It's fucking hilarious. Um. Ah, uh, let's see. What else? Ah, uh, what else? 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 Oh God! Yeah. No, no, no. Um, Kanye's um, Kanye's having an issue too. Like he was fucking like melting down on Twitter again too, and like Kim Kardashian had to fucking put him in his place or some shit. Um, uh, so we all heard that Tucker Carlson is like straight up, uh, straight up a Russian like operative now, right? The, the Kremlin, like the leaked documents from the fucking Kremlin ordering state propaganda, state media to utilize. You have to put Tucker Carlson clips in your media. <coughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> oh, my soul to the college loan company store college loan. Yeah. Oh my soul to the college loan. Yeah, it could work. Um Oh yeah, yeah. You want you want to see her? Yeah. Hold on. I'll pull it up. Um I think that went under politics. Uh Um, okay. Cupcake, 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 cupcake. I think I have your attention. If I've said your name that many times, cupcake, for those that know, no, um, what is, give me one sec. Oh, that's done manually, isn't it? Hold on. That's done manually. I think I do that manually. Hold on. Give me one sec. It is. It's done manually. Uh, Cupcake, what is your goddamn username these days? Um, Leftist beauty. <laughs> What's your actual username? Fucking A. <laughs> Trying to do something here, but. Okay, there we go. Sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Cupcake, look for a new channel. Go looking for a new cha uh, go looking for a new channel, Cupcake. And welcome to the team. Um also we need a new mod. Not nothing against the mods we have, but we need a new mod, but we need a new mod for the night show, not the day show. Um so I'll be bringing that up probably tomorrow night. Um anyway, um Okay, there we go. Uh, I need to expand that. <laughs> and rev, not it. For all y'all insomniacs, exactly. 
Um, yeah, we need we need one for the the night show. And mod benefits are I. Uh, uh, you get um, you get bragging rights. You get access to a couple other channels uh, behind the scenes. Um, you do get powers on Discord. Um, the mods have the ability to like jump on air. Um, the mods are the only ones who can like literally walk into the on air channel. Um, don't worry about it, Cassidy. Um, um, and you can you can you can mute people on fucking voice chat. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that on the late show. We'll talk about that on tomorrow's late show. Uh, we just need somebody for that. Um, but yeah, I want the power of electricity. Wouldn't that be great? Public? We're already part electric electrical anyway, right? I mean, the majority of our functioning nerve and otherwise is electrically driven. So it'd be good, you know. Yeah. Um. <laughs> There's nothing more I'm gonna sweeten the pot with, Zippy. Oh, fuck it, A. Zippy, are you looking for like another sh shot of my abs? Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> Zippy all horny on main up in this bitch. Um, I know, right, public? Exactly, public gets it. Um,. I don't care what anybody said, uh, what all the other people say about you, public. You're good. You're good people. Uh, <laughs> What's up? Um, oh yeah, fire. We we I I I said fuck it earlier on the stream when we were talking about it, and I just I stood up and just pulled my shirt up. <laughs> uh. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, Marcus, take care of you. You've got court in the morning. Ah, uh, thank you. Um, yep. Nice. Sleep well, Marcus. Good luck with court in the morning. Um, see the, if, see if that's the, the unofficial proudly radical lawyer, <laughs> um, consultant only. Um, good luck, Marcus. <laughs> public that's the right attitude that's the right attitude public ah uh, so what else um oh god do you guys want to do oh germany's buying 35 lockheed uh, uh 35 f-35s that's it's germany's buying 35 f-35s <laughs> That increase in defense spending is coming straight, straight to the U.S. Straight to the U.S. <laughs> uh, oh. Lockheed, Zerum, Lockheed. To buy them from Lockheed. Um, I right, tech support. We can keep them in the air these days. Um, yeah, it's a lot, dude. It's a fucking lot. Um, those are not cheap platforms. <clears throat> but yeah. yeah, they're coming from Lockheed. Uh, um, also, I had uh, I'm working on another essay. I know what I want to write about. I, it's been a long time since I wrote like, well, not a long time, but it's been a while since I've done another essay. Um, I do have a new essay that I want to write. Um, it's going to be about anarchist and uh, communist slash tanky relations. I just want to, I, I just, you know, I want to, um, there's, that's the F-35 public. <laughs> it's the F-35. Um, uh, a I do not guarantee delivery times on any of my work. That's just the way it goes. Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna, I, 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 I think I have the framework finally squared away in my head. There's a couple of historical... I like to tell stories through historical events. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, Zippy. Origins... Uh, pro I think I think Origins and Problems with Policing has its own thing. Let's, let's check. Um, that would be... Standalone videos. Hold 
holy shit, I've never done origins of and problems with modern policing. There isn't a single set. All right. Um, all right. I need... I need a I need a list. I need a list. Um You know what? We're doing it this way. We're doing it this way just for now. We're going to create a channel where you guys can keep keep on me. That's a good one, too. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Exactly, Aka. Um, that's a good one, Zippy. Um, thank you. That's 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 a good one to get out there. Um, oh, uh, let's see. I, I'm, I'm sick of all the fucking Russia shit. I don't care. 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 I have so many fucking Russian stories in my queue. Um, yeah, another Russian. Not an, For those of you tracking this, not a new, new Russian general dead, but a new Russian general dead, right? We're up to like three Russian generals dead plus a fucking Chechen commander. Jesus fucking Christ. Um... Oh, that was uh, interesting. Um, the largest ever study on narcissism found that baby boomers are more sensitive than millennials. Straight up. Um, here is, if anybody wants the link, there's the link to the Silence, Science Daily. Um, and yeah, it is, it is the largest ever study conducted on narcissism. It looks specifically at hypersensitivity, a trait that uh, helps determine how narcissistic people actually are. And uh, in, uh, in uh, analysis of its findings, um, what it finds, contrary to popular belief, right? What it finds is that millennials aren't more sensitive than the baby boomer generation. It's the other fucking way around. Um, generally speaking, as individuals got older, they became less sensitive. But the researchers found hypersensitivity sharply declined after a person turned 40, except in the generational trend of the baby boomers. Um, so... I don't think this is the leaded gasoline. Maybe it's the leaded gasoline. I mean, the leaded gasoline ain't helping, right? Um, uh, the link is already in chat, Zerum. Uh, I, it Scroll up. Scroll up is the, the Science Daily. Look for sciencedaily.com. Um, um, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's I, it's just, you know, something, something, to, something to take home and talk about. Uh, something that's just, it's, it's, it's part of your parting gift uh, as, as a viewer here on the Proudly Radical channel. Just, you know, take that gift and go fuck with your parents and your grandparents, depending on age ranges, that sort of thing. Um, but, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. I don't, I see, this is, I, 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 Ah, uh, let me, let me look. Maybe, maybe there may be, nobody studied it. Nobody's, nobody's looked at this specific link. Hey, Nixa, thank you. Uh, nobody's looked at this specific link, but there may be a potential link there to further elaborate or elucidate at a future date. Um, that's that's a study that definitely could be looked at. Um, <laughs> Beast, just got your message. Yeah. Um... Yes, wither. Um, uh, yes, <laughs> just yes. <laughs> oh, fucking a. 
I... Mm, let's see. Oh, oh, that's right. Good news. Um, good news. The cop who shot the 12 year old in the back in Philadelphia will be fired. He's not going to get to keep his job. Uh, the police union did fight and they're probably going to continue to fight this one and they may end up getting him his pension. Uh, but the city deemed it, uh, deemed the, the act of shooting a child in the back for no good reason, at least a fireable offense in this case. Of course, he's not going to, he hasn't been charged. I could have sworn the last time I checked, if I shot a kid in the back, they'd probably put me in cuffs right away. Um, but, you know, they're going to fire him at least. God, I fucking, fucking cops, right? Uh, there we go. What the fuck do you want? Cool. All right. With all those... Uh, <laughs> tech support and before we hired at some other department oh yeah for sure uh, anybody see that connecticut is going to make it illegal i think it was connecticut that's doing that right uh connecticut's going to make it illegal or not a possibility to rehire cops that have been fired from other jurisdictions Oh, Crimson, they almost always keep their pensions. They almost always keep their pensions. Um, uh, I mean, I've told that story before about the cop here in Las Vegas. Public, enjoy your nap. I tried to get a nap in before the stream. Just wasn't happening. But public, enjoy your nap. Um, I've told this story before about the Las Vegas cop who used to tell his girlfriend. This dude, his girlfriend testified against him. His girlfriend... Um, so, a, a, an ex, a, 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 a black a veteran was having a PTSD event, right, in a apartment complex. The, uh, he was in his car, and the cops had surrounded his car, and he started freaking out. So, he was, like, trying to, like, back up, and he eventually, he had given up, by the way. He, he just, like, he had tried to, like, back up into the cop cars a couple of times. But they had him like completely pinned in in his car. Um, so this cop <clears throat> who his girlfriend testified against him going on the record stating that he used to come home and I've I've said this exact quote on the air before. I remember when I reported it on Podbean, I just dropped it for the purposes of Twitch. I'll be I'll play nice. The cop uh, the cop used to go home to his girlfriend and say, uh, one of these days I'm going to, uh, I'm going to shoot an N word and, uh, I'm going to shoot an N word and get a paid vacation. His girlfriend testified to this, that he used to come home and say this, like not just once, multiple times. I'm just going to shoot an N word and I'll get a paid vacation. So a black veteran was having a PTSD moment in a, uh, in a uh, apartment parking lot in which he was endangering no one. The cops had him successfully pinned uh, in his vehicle. So the cop got out of his car, walked up to the window and shot the man. So want to know how that turned out? They ended up putting him on a two year paid suspension and at the end of the two years, he got, um, he, uh, his, uh, it was deemed that he was, um, he was suffering from emotional trauma and PTSD as a result of the shooting. And he was given permanent medical leave and a full pension. He got a lifetime pension and full medical leave and a two-year paid vacation at full salary for shooting an N-word. Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently wish fulfillment can be traumatic. I, dude, I, I can't even keep track of some of these stories in my head at this point. It's, I, I can't even keep track of some of these stories. Dude, the, the cop stories just fly by. They just fly by. There's so many of them. There's so many. 
Yeah, no, 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 Puddle. The girlfriend testified. The girlfriend testified against the cop. Defense got a hold of her and she went on the record and said, yeah, he used to come home all the time and say, uh, and say that I'm the one of these days I'm going to shoot an N word and just get a paid vacation. So he did. He literally did it. It worked. It fucking worked. It wasn't just some racist cop talk, like talking shit after work. That motherfucker shot a black dude and got a paid vacation and a full lifetime pension. Yeah, like, I, uh, I, you know, yeah, just run the whole show, just one cop cr on cop crimes now. I know, right, Beast? Like, I probably could. I probably could, I could probably do four hours a day on police malfeasance. I'm not kidding. You. I'm, I'm, that wouldn't even, I don't even think that would fucking tap anything. I don't think we'd be out of material ever, especially if we started with a backlog. Like, I, I, I legitimately don't think we'd ever be out of material. I could do four hours a day on police malfeasance, and we'd still probably have shit to talk about at the end of the day. It's it's absolutely absurd. For a while, you did cop news at the start of the stream a day. Yeah, it's dude. It's it's a hell of a thing. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, uh, fucking. Yeah, was that uh, $1.5 billion we spent on settling police misconduct? Um, like, I, I forget. Was it uh, like it, it, it was reported by like 538 and the Marshall Project? Um, that a hundred, no, 1,200 officers, um, in departments that they surveyed had at least were the subjects of at least five payments more than 200 had 10 or more there um fucking it, it is absolutely absurd the amount that we as taxpayers pay out for police misconduct and malfeasance in this nation it is absolutely insane uh they got fucking serpa code square um, like that's, that's, they got Serpa code. Like anybody who knows the story of Serpa code, dude, they caught, they tried to kill that motherfucker, right? Like that's what happens to cops who, t who go, who, who cross the bl the thin blue line. Those fuckers get got. They, they end up dead. Um, there was that Boston cop. Does anybody remember a few years ago when Boston locked down an entire neighborhood and went searching door to door with like SWAT teams looking for some killer of a cop? It was like, I don't know, fucking decade ago now, maybe fucking Boston locked down an entire fucking residential area and just started going door to door fucking like Stalin style looking for some cop killer because a cop ended up with like a bullet in the back of his head in a nearby alleyway. You know what they found out? What will we found out later on? The cop had turned federal witness against fellow officers in the Boston police department. Yeah. He got got by fucking fellow cops and then the cops blamed the citizens in the residential area and decided to fucking hassle them while they were at it. They went full terrorist squad on them. Uh, worst cop story that has personally happened to me? I don't have it. The worst that I have, um, camel. <coughs> Weasel, let me pop that. Um... <clears throat> Um, my cop stories, Camel, all end in cops regretting fucking with me. I'm protected. It's that simple. Um, I'm, I'm the beneficiary. I got privilege in this area. I don't, um, yeah. 
the last cop who tried to hassle me got a personal call on his cell phone from his police from his captain and said what the fuck are you doing unhitch that kid's car now and tear that ticket up so like cops i've been fucked with cops but it never goes well for them that's that's just i'm a beneficiary of that good old boy system Right, you know, fucking stepdad who's an FFL who knows the like regional director of the ATF and the bureau head and is a judge and shit like that, right? <clears throat> yeah, it, it doesn't. I, I, like I said, I've been fucked with, but it doesn't go well for the cop usually. It, usually, what happens is they get a call on their cell phone partway through because I've called my family and it's like. Uh, what's going on here? And shit just gets handled. So yeah, I, I, this, this these stories date back. I've told these stories. I've told a few a few times. These stories go all the way back to high school with a fucking school resource officer, fuck with who fucked with me. And the next day, I'm not shitting you. The next day, mom, stepdad, the mayor, the chief of police, the superintendent of schools, the principal, and that cop had a meeting. In, the, in his office. He, he wasn't allowed to look at me for the rest of my high school career. How do I know that's a very real thing? It's because I used to hold the door for him and fuck with him all the time, and he'd refuse to even look at me. He was terrified of me. That motherfucker's pension was on the line because he fucked with me. So, yeah, he dude, he pulled me into his office and interviewed me without... Uh, without parents legal representation dude he fucked up big time yeah that dude that that did not go well for him that did not go well for him so yeah dude my stepdad straight up just called uh called the chief of police that night i was telling this story over the over the dinner table uh in high school and i was like he's like wait let me get this right a cop interviewed you and didn't call us or provide you with legal the option for legal representation. I'm like, yeah. He stood up from the table, picked up a, a phone, and called the chief of police. It's on a first name basis with him. Yeah. Like that do that. I I I I'm a beneficiary of privilege in that regard. So yeah, all of my cops cops fucking with me stories end up with cops tucking their tail between their legs and fucking right off like the little bitches that they are. Um, oh, the, the, the question is infamous. Um, some of you have heard the question. This is just the most, this is the dumbest goddamn question that has ever been asked of me in my life. I still don't know what the fuck it means. Cop pulls me into his office, looks at me from across his desk and says, I heard you're into computers. Yeah. Are you on the good side of computers? or the bad side of computers. That question almost cost him his pension, his career and his pension. That dumbass fucking question almost cop cost that cop his entire fucking career. I hope it was worth it. It lives on in infamy. It lives on in infamy. So it was worth it for me. But I, I wonder if it was worth it for him because I used to fuck with him all the time. I don't, I'd, I'd rush ahead. I would sprint ahead of groups of people to get to the door at the fucking, uh, at a wing, the administrative building where his office was. So I could open the door for him and greet him. Hi officer. I'm not going to name check him. Hi officer. Hope you're having a great day. He just, fucking look at the ground and just fucking walk through. I used to fuck with him for four years. I fucked with that dude. Fuck around and find out. So fuck that guy.
so the kids of cops, generally speaking, do they not end up in the system for the most part or just kids for a high rank? No, no, yeah. If you're, if you're the kid of a cop, dude, good old boy system and thin blue line basically protects you. Yeah, it, it only goes so far for like lower ranking officers but yeah cops if they hook up if they hook some kid up and they find out that there's a fellow officer's kid oh yeah they will call the cop before they'll do anything else they will straight up call the the parent who is the cop and be like dude we just caught little jimmy fucking with a dime bag outside the fucking high school don't worry about it but you know come pick him up we you know we'll handle it oh yeah no, fucking kids of cops don't even fucking, like, as long as they haven't, like, mur you know what, I'd like to say as long as they haven't murdered somebody, but I have I know of instances where, I mean, they got caught, but the cops tried to protect them. So, yeah, no, that's, that's definitely, that's just how that works, is if you're, if you're in the family, nah, they don't, they don't process you. That's just what happens. Like they process you immediately. They run your ID. They put you in the system. They start the digital ticketing system these days. They they start processing you. If you're protected in some way, do they don't process you? It's phone calls behind the scenes instead. Yeah, it's how they do it. Oh, you'd be surprised to support what kid what the kids of cops can get away with. Uh, judges' kids, especially, by the way. It's point out do the shit they let me get away with i knew um i knew the deputies um the deputy sheriff's uh patrol schedule for the area that we lived in in high school i knew their uh, i knew their patrol schedule i knew who was uh, scheduled to work i knew what numbers of cops and cars they had out so if we wanted to party and we wanted to get up to shenanigans we could do it yeah dude you can you can get away with some shit you can get away with some shit that's just how it works yeah it's a good old boy system hey thanks for sending me that eight ball for your son should it should come pick him up pretty quick right quick though uh similar general dynamic with rural cops in general chances are if they are if they uh if they arrest you they know your parents which may or may not work in your favor exactly i knew when salem pd did a shift change nice nixa yeah it's it's just the way the system works it's just the way the system works. It's completely broken and corrupt. I've told stories about my stepfather before, which are even like way more insane. The The stories of my stepfather and his shenanigans when he was a kid are batshit insane. They don't even, I don't even rank. This motherfucker committed arson. This motherfucker like stole, like harvested lobster fishermen's traps. This motherfucker like... They cleaned out a fucking cornfield and tried to sell the corn on the black market. He fucking molotoffed a field. He fucking led on a he led an entire group of deputies on a high speed chase through a town. Dude, nobody touched him. Nobody touched him. His father was very, very, very rich and very connected. And when I say connected. I mean, connected. So, yeah. Yeah, that's that's just that's just the way it, it goes. I've got familial experience in these sorts of privileged arenas. And it's sort of like uh, Kropotkin. Kropotkin was a, a Russian prince who at age 12 renounced his title. Right? Like, that's sort of the tradition um i you know i'm an anarchist from a family of like judge atf fbi that sort of shit right like i'm the black sheep i'm the one who sat back and looked at that shit and said fuck all that right like i'm gonna i'm gonna get up to no good and use that for to my benefit it, when you, if you have any level of like respect for yourself and others and in a capability for uh analytics it's difficult not to grow up with that level of privilege and look around and go, oh, all right, well, fuck all y'all. Fuck all that. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh. Uh, hey, yeah, exactly, Crimson. Exactly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I saw always swear that I'm up to the sushi and methodology. <coughs> oh, okay. So we got the origins and police uh, origins and problems with policing segment. And what else do I need to do? I need to do something. But yeah. Um. So, are any of my Zomboid players here? Do we want to do a multiplayer session? Maybe a couple of hours. Um. Because. I mean, I could use not talking as much, um, but also, you know, we'll see. Um, I understand, otherwise. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I want to show this photo, though. I did have this, this this photo that, like... Hey, thanks, Rai. Ukrainian anarchist... It's all donated gear, by the way. That's all donated gear. Um, Deirdre, I mean, I definitely can't do the same level. I'm not back to 100% yet, Deirdre, for sure. Oh. Lawyers and a judge? Oh, then, yeah, Camel, then you get it. Long live the black army. Exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, this is. Oh, you know what? We haven't done our, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Do we want to do, do we want to do this tonight or do we want to save this for another stream? Um, I kind of would prefer if Amorous was here so Amaris could um at least partake in it um but do we want to do the hot or not session um there we go it's 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 sort of anarchist it's the anarchist hot or not dictators and revolutionaries edition um I'm just got a potential dangerous file download warning from Twit uh for fucking um whatever. Fucking There we go. Um okay. Mm, no, close out. There we go. Good night, Puka. Sleep well. Uh, can I add a chat command for an ad block list? Tech support. DM me on um, DM me on uh, Discord. I don't think we can do that on Twitch just for TOS reasons, but I do think um, <laughs> Trotsky was a geek ass nerd. Um, I don't think we can I do tech support. I it kills me to remove this tech support. It kills my soul. I think that's TOS. I think it is. Put it in the comments on Discord. It's not D, it's not TOS over there, tech support. Put it on the put it put it in the comments. Um All right. Do we want to um <clears throat> Wither, um, add evasion, that sort of thing. Like, yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not friendly towards that sort of talk. Ah, thanks again. Um, okay, so I didn't see anything go by. Do we, do we want to do, uh, the, the dictators and revolutionaries anarchist rates hot or not tonight? Um... Or do we want to save it for another night? It's like Che and Chavez and Khomeini and Mugabe and Mubarak and Mussolini and shit like that, right? Putin, Hussein, Tito, fucking... There's, there's a whole fucking list. Let me show you the tier list. Let me show you the tier list. Fuck, whatever. Wait for Amaris. I see tonight. I see wait for Amorous. I, I, 
you know, I feel like it would be nicest to like wait for Amorous. Seeing as he did, did he, he put some work in on this. Like all of the, he standardized the, the images for us. He, you know, yeah. Like he, he, he put some work into it. Yeah, I, 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 I think we should probably wait for Amorous. Oh, and Buddhist, I saw that you were, you were dog sitting. I didn't see that. Uh, Buddhist, I've been mean. I look, I didn't, I, I don't want to do this on air, but I'm going to do this on air. Buddhist, I have a lot of fun gaming with you, and I just want you to know that I always enjoy sessions of Zomboid with you. Um, sorry, this it sounds mushy or weird. Um, and it's sorry to do it on air, but I've been meaning to tell you that for a little bit. I always enjoy playing Zomboid with you, and I like early am. Anyway, if anybody else wants to join those sessions, feel free. Kai's got a gamer crush. A little bit, a little bit. I always, Buddhist and I understand each other's style. We, we mesh really well in Zomboid. Um, you got 34 hours recently in Zomboid. Um, Glazy, you're welcome to join the multiplayer server. Uh, send me your, um, send me your fuck. you know what? Fucking, why don't I do this? Hang on. Uh, where's my Steam link? Aw, thank you, Buddhist. It's, not, it's nice to know it's reciprocated. The feelings are mutual. Um, got a little AJ on that one. Um, let's see. Here you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, good night, Weasel. Good night. I'm gonna put this in chat. Um, for those that want to add me on Steam, feel free to add me on Steam. That is my Steam quick, uh, quick add link thing uh the when when we end this stream i'm going to generate a new link so it's not live but glazy uh take note of that link if you want to add me on steam then one of these days when we're doing multiplayer you can get in the server buddhist and i um trialed a new multiplayer server for um D zomboid zomboid again zomboid um that dude zomboid uh, we're gonna be trying risk for rain, a uh, risk ri risk of rain two with Karina, uh, uh, one of these days. But Zomboid is my game right now, dude. I I I, I love that game. I hate that game a little bit, but I love that game. Um, yeah, Glazy, add me on Steam. Um and um. Uh, we we Buddhist and I like, we've got a heavily modded. Um, multiplayer session going that cat is now on as well buddhist i used the settings i spun up a new world i've got a session with cat where we set up base at the uh, at that uh, at that warehouse facility that you and i found um so like yeah we we've cat and i have set up camp at the like buddhist and i did some like forward recon shit <laughs> Dude, it's fucking, wait till you see it. it wait till you see it. We've, we fucking, dude, we're doing some stuff. I got a fucking garden on the roof and shit. Just got it, just got it set up. Um, you hosted a vanilla server, your game crashed. Well, my game doesn't crash. Um, it was in less one small instance. Um, yeah, we've, we've got, we've got a heavily modded game server, multiplayer server going with custom settings across the board. Um, uh Gemma, i'm highly selective but uh let me know what it is um so yeah if you if you want to play in our multiplayer zomboid sessions um it is it is buddhist um if you want to play in our multiplayer zomboid sessions um use the no i do not do zombie respawn uh because human beings don't fall out of the sky and per the lore of the game um there is um a there's a, a cordon on Knox County. So like Knox County has been isolated, right? So there's not human beings magically coming in and out. They don't fall out of the fucking sky. So as far as I'm concerned, in-game lore dictates that zombie respawn should not be on. That's not how that would function. So yeah, zombie respawn is off. Nonsense. I'm good at it now. There's still... There's still, there's one thing that pisses me off about this game still. There's a small bug that happens occasionally, and it is run-destroying when it happens. Um, but beyond that, yeah, I adore Zomboid. 
I, I it took me a lot of time to figure out that I how to love that game, but I love that game. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> Take care, Deidre. I think we may actually exactly tech support exactly yeah you just well i you know i cave those motherfucking skulls in dude fucking cat and i both prefer a spiked bat that is our weapon of choice for zomboid um and speaking of i think it's time i am hungry my voice is starting to get scratchy. You can hear. Um, I think it's time. Thank you. I I love every last one of you. Um, even you, Glazy. Even you. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for putting up with Twitch. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for everything. Just thank you for being you. I I I I, I want the best for all of you and everyone and I you know I just want to express my gratitude for those that showed me gratitude and compassion when I was having a moment so thank you GL um hopefully we can keep these numbers up I'd like to keep these numbers up um we need to get the word out in the future, moving forward, I'm going to be doing more engagement with right-wingers. I want to talk to people and try and change their mind and convince them of things. So we're going to be doing more active engagement in the future. We're going to be doing more conversations with people. We're going to try and get people on the line and have enlightening conversations with them. That's going to be going forward. More segments, more conversations, more minds changed. Until then, let's go say hi to Endless Cemetery. He's playing Dead by Daylight. Much love, everyone. Damn it. What the? Look for a hatch? Yeah, I'm finna just look for the hatch. Oh, but he's got BBC on. He knows where I am. He knows where I am. He definitely is right. Yo, one guy, Jin. Thanks for the follow, Zerum. Thanks for the follow. <laughs>